Welcome to our first video test using Screencastify. We're looking at a Google My Map today, and we're going to see just how easy it is to use Google My Map to create a custom map of points uh, in our uh, community. So when you create a new Google Map, this is what you're looking at, a map of the continental United States um, with an untitled map legend off to the side uh, and a few drawing tools. Let's go ahead and give our map a title here. Click on the untitled map legend, my first map. And for the description for our map, we're going to say a map of summer resources for families. And that'll be our content for the map. So let's go ahead and add our first point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a local library here. So I'll go ahead and search for that library. And here it is, the Riverton Village Library. And you'll notice we're able to zoom right in here. Google knows where that at is at coincides with our city hall in this town uh, and if I scroll down a little bit you can see that Google automatically includes uh, the Google Maps address and phone number listing here uh, as well as the website um, now I can choose to leave that in here or remove it um, and there's also a button here where I can click to add to map so I can add that um, point to the map let's go ahead and add our point to the map and here it is here's our library listing uh, our details from Google Maps are here uh, if we don't want to include that, we can just simply click Remove, and that's gone. You can see our latitude and longitude here, and a few icons. Uh, we can get directions, add an image or a video. We can edit this point, or we can change the style of this point. And you can see by default, we just have this blue uh, push pin here. Let's take a quick look and see what some of our style options are. By default, you can choose a different kind of icon, and you can choose the color. There are, of course, a lot of more customizable options available, uh, but for the, the simple MyMap tool, uh, this is what most people need. Uh, you can click here to view more icons. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Here you can see we've got a ton of icons that Google includes for uh, on, on the map here. Let's go ahead and look for the library icon. I'll use the search filter here. And sure enough, there's our library icon. Pretty familiar, it's a stylized icon of a head in an open book. So we'll click on that. Notice you can also add a custom icon if you'd like. We'll go ahead and choose OK, and let's make it a different color. Let's make it purple, just so it stands out a little more. And once you've changed that, go ahead and click Save. Uh, let's go ahead and add a short description here. Again, this is a, a map about summer resources. So the library offers numerous summer programs for children of all ages. Visit our website to learn more. We can also add an image here. Uh, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and save it. Click on add an image. Uh, what's interesting here, we can upload an image if we already have one. Uh, if you already have an image published, you could add the URL directly. Uh, but sometimes it's helpful just to go ahead and do an, a Google image search. So I'll do a Google image search for our library. And sure enough, there it is. It's a picture of, uh, of our library building. I'll go ahead and check that image, click select to insert it into the uh, box here. And now there it is. And I've still got my description down below. We'll click save. And here's what that looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and add another point just to see how easy it is. Um, in this town, there uh, there's a, a summer lunch program for kids where all kids 18 and under can get um, a free lunch every day at the elementary school. So let's go ahead and add that to the map here. It is Riverton Elementary School. Again, we zoom right down to it here. You can see it shows up here on the map. Drag down a little bit so I can see it. Uh, we do want to add this to the map, so I'll click the Add to Map button. And now that it's here, uh, we might want to change how this looks. Let's go ahead and remove the Google Map info detail here. And let's edit this. Let's just call it the RES Summer Lunch Program. And in the description, we'll say, visit the RES cafeteria Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. for a free hot lunch for all kids under 18. We'll go ahead and save that again. We could add another image as well. Let's go ahead and change the style here. Let's use the food and beverage icon 
cross knife and fork and we'll make this a bright orange just to change the color. And there is our spot. Uh, you'll notice over here on the left, every time we add a point, it shows up here on what's called a layer. Uh, you can actually stack different sets of points on a map. And if you're an advanced map maker, you can actually add uh, additional uh, layers to the map, such as a uh, map of counties or city borders, school district borders, etc. For our simple map, let's look at a couple other things we can do. Um, let's go ahead and look at the base map option. Now we're seeing by default here on the background uh, the standard Google map. You can see some street names, but you can also see like an ATM icon here by the bank. Uh, you can see the post office um, as well as some other businesses located on the map. Uh, we can actually change how that appears by selecting the option for the base map. And here are some options that Google gives us by default. Um, let's look at satellite. And here's Google's satellite view taken. And then we've also got, for example, Google's standard terrain view, uh, which in this region, in a town especially, is not going to be too uh, uh, visual. And here we'll look at a simple atlas view. All of these can be customized as well. Uh, Google has style sheets and custom styling tools available. Um, and you can find out whichever map works the best for your needs. So once we've selected a map, a base map, and we've put our points on the map, uh, we're ready to save the map. Um, Google, of course, saves everything automatically, but we can publish the map here by sharing it. <clears throat> by default, again, the map is only accessible uh, to people who visit it, um, but we can go ahead and change that and make the map available to the public. Let's go ahead and share it on the web here. Excellent. Now, anyone who has the link to this map is going to be able to, um, to see it. Uh, and we can also, excuse me, embed the map itself on our website. So if I click on the uh, settings button next to my first map and scroll down to embed on my website, I get a small snippet of HTML code here that I can copy and paste into a page on my existing site. So that's it. We were able to make a Google map fairly quickly. Uh, we'll look at some other tools over the next few videos, including some free and open source tools. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.